Um, so sugar is linked to eight, and I am back with another reading. So um, right before I was going to sleep, I was meant to use this deck, guys, and this reading is going to be regarding how does your person that you are separated from currently feels about you. This was this deck I got so long ago, guys. I never even did a reading. And for some reason, I was called to use it. So someone is trying to telepathically deliver you a message because you guys may be in separation. You guys may have been broken up or you guys literally just are physically separated right now. So again, this is a telepathic message regarding how does your person feel about you at this um, current time while in separation, all right? If you guys are single, you know, and you haven't had nobody, you're not interested, this may not be the reading for you. This is strictly for my viewers that actually want to know how the person feels um, because they are separated, right? I think that is important. Who doesn't want to know that, right? And, you know, this channel is a safe space. And as long as I can find solutions to whatever you guys have been thinking, um, I will definitely do the video. So let's hop right in and see how does your person feel? What does your person want to say to you while in separation? I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. So you guys, your person feels like they miss you. They want to reach out to you for sure. But maybe they did something or you've been really acting and pulling your energy back. So they feel like you will reject them. But I'm telling you right now, they do want to talk to you. They scared of rejection. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. You made a real, real positive, major imprint and impact on the person that you are separated from's life, all right? And that is why they are scared of rejection because I feel like when you came in to this person's life, it was sparks flying immediately. You gave this person a sense of passion back I feel like and again the cards clearly reads you brought out the best in me this was someone that was dealing with low vibrational energies for a while even in romantic relationships and it's like when you came in collectives you shed light on happiness and joy and fulfillment I'm also getting that you showed this person another way of love all right. This person it really is regretting right now that they mess things up or things are not going right. The next card you have out is I know we've been together in, in our past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger. So for some of you guys, the, the sparks were because you guys been together before in your past life. I feel like when you met this person. Things just was so normal. It felt familiar to you guys, all right? I don't know what happened between this connection, but it seemed like you guys hit it off as soon as you met. But now your person is feeling like if they contact you, um, you are they, they are gonna re, they are gonna be rejected. So obviously something here that they did and they feel guilty about. The next card you got out is there's so many unspoken things between us. I need to tell you how I really feel. So your person has been allowing ego to mess this this connection up. All I see is fear. I see running i see doubt some of you guys like flowers and this person might try to come back and bring you some flowers the next card you have out is i kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that 
you wait i kept up a facade to the world but you always saw past that into my soul so you stepped into this person lives and really saw past the mask I feel like you guys had conversations collective where you spoke about things that you knew about this person and it was kind of surprising to this person because you kind of like broke down the barrier with this person. I'm getting that this person was a player. I'm getting that this person was had a lot of options. This person was was handsome or pretty, beautiful, but this person had a lot of options. So I feel like this person was not used to committing. I feel like this person could go and have sex anywhere. This person, you know, could get wine and dine. Um, people fall over this. This person had a lot of options. But they are now understanding that no matter how much options they had, nothing compares to you, collective. This person is saying that they kept up a facade to the world, but you always knew and saw right through their soul. That's powerful. I'm also getting that there were things that weren't spoken about about this um, about your person that you may have sensed, but you was waiting for a clear confirmation. But I felt like you sensed a lot of things about this person. And when you sensed it, you spoke on it. And it allowed this person to really be wowed at how much you was able to to dissect from their energy. And again, this may be because you was in a past life, so you kind of know and you're familiarized with the energy once you got back into union. But I feel like this person messed up because here it's, it's all saying you brought out the best of me. I know we've been together in our past life. I recognize you. You never were a stranger. There's so much unspoken between us. I need to tell you how I really feel. And I kept the facade to the world. But you've seen right through me. You have done nothing in this connection. This has given me a confirmation of my last reading. If you guys haven't, go check out my last reading. Excuse me. Reading. In the last reading, someone was manipulated for no reason. Just because they were nice and sweet. Literally had no reason. And I feel like this is a continuation of this reading. But your person is really apologizing now. Your person is really taking accountability. And seeing where they went wrong at. And really um, showcasing how beautiful you were to them. The next card out is. My heart always comes back to you. Even when I don't want it to. Your person has been extremely extremely for time and time trying to forget about you your person has understood that they messed up and feel like if they contact with if they contact you um you are going to reject them so they've been trying to forget about you and doing other stuff to you know um invade their mind so that way things can occupy their mind other than you it's not working my heart always comes back to you, even when I don't want it to. This person is clearly trying not to think about you, but you made such an everlasting and powerful impression on this person. They can't. They sleep, wake up at night. They can't sleep at night. They probably lying to you or making it seem like they don't want you, but that's a lie. And that all goes to show about, I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw pass into my soul my heart always comes back to you even when i don't want it to this person you made a very very personal and major impact on this person's life and i feel like you kind of like cracked open some type of new path for them where you kind of like came into their lives and made them look at the areas where they need to work on in theirs My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about you and what could have been. Your person is not only trying to forget you and can't. Your person is not only realizing that they have made a huge mistake by taking you for granted. 
Your person is realizing that there is rejection that might come in between them reconciling with you because you have did nothing. And that literally was my last read. And why would you go back to somebody and it clearly shows you have did nothing? Your next card comes um, is, I couldn't handle my true feelings for you. So I kept you as a friend and nothing more. So for some of you guys, that doesn't mean kept you as a friend. Literally, I feel like what this person was saying is that they was dragging you along. They made you feel like one day you were all together and then kind of like ghosted you or kept stringing you along, right? And you, I feel like you did not know where you stood. I feel like there were times where you knew where you stood and there were times when you didn't really know your place in this relationship. And that is because your person couldn't handle their true feelings for you. I'm telling you, remember when I said that your person is someone that has a lot of options? This person maybe has money. This person is very, very handsome or pretty. This person has a lot of, go a lot of stuff going for themselves as far as people wanting them. And when you came into this person's life and saw past the facade, you saw past what they was trying to perceive to the world, you saw into their soul. This person even felt like you was from their past life because of how connected and normal this connection felt to them. It, 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 it was unmatched. You brought out the best in this person. And every time I felt like you wasn't with this person, they were really, really fucked up as far as mentally, physically, not because of you. It just was a lot of shit going on in their life. But they feel like with you being there, not only did you bring out the best of them, but you you allowed them to cover, come alive in your presence. You, you allowed them to be free in your presence. They didn't feel like this with nobody else. They may have felt like they wanted to have sex and leave or it just wasn't a deep connection like this. You hit them on a soul level. I feel like you hit a player on a soul level and they didn't know what to do with you and how the saying goes. You don't really know what you have until it's gone. And this person is feeling like this with this energy. Their heart comes back to you as they are trying to desperately forget about you. Memories of them Memories of you and them haunt them and keep them thinking about what could have been. They are looking at your photos. If you sent them any photos or text messages, they are v they are going back and, and revisiting those things. They honestly, honestly couldn't handle their feelings towards you. It was too strong and it caught them off guard. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. They try to keep you as something that was disattachable to them because they were scared of commitment because they didn't never feel this strong feeling before. You literally came in. I don't know what you did, but you came into their lives and swept them, swept them off their feet. The next card you have out is, time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choice. What did I just say? This person is really realizing what they had now that is gone. And it's fucking them up. It's constantly haunting them, the memories and how good you were. They are constantly being mem um, um, remembered how on how they handled you. When they could have treated you way better off of the respect that you gave. This shit is haunting them collective. Because again, in this reading, as I did my last reading, you didn't do nothing. This person was just scared, scared of commitment and did, was not ready to settle down and, and kept stringing you along. Thinking that you was going to stand for it and you finally chose to release. And this person can't believe it. They can't believe it. The last car you have out is you were my home and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. What did I say? 
You brought another way of loving to this person. The love that you brought to this person was unmatched and will forever be unmatched because I feel like this was your person from the past life. Potentially, you guys could have had an amazing relationship because you, 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 you gave nothing but love. I see that this person really, really loved you, but they couldn't stop their play away. They couldn't release their ego. They couldn't match your energy when times was needed. And that causes a deep imbalance of love, of feelings, of commitment. And literally, this person is now realizing what they had until it's gone. Let's get a closing out message from this person. Oh, you got three. So... You have, I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. You guys have showed them spirituality. Some of you guys are tapped in. Some of you guys like chakras. Some of you guys like zodiac. Some of you guys like tarot readings. This person says, I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. You guys talked about a lot of energy with this person and they didn't believe it at first they just like to hear you talk about it but now that you are gone they believe it i told you this person is evaluating going back to text messages and memories about you maybe sitting having an amazing conversation about stars and them really actually learning from them I mean, them actually learning from you. They never learned this stuff from no one else. They never really even probably sat and, and watched the moon or the stars. You introduced them to this stuff. Our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine to yours. What did I just say? You balanced, well, you was trying to bring balance and spirituality to this person's life because I think that's what this person was missing. And they didn't believe in these things until now. They really starting to see that you were telling the truth. And as they are replaying this, they are, you know, communicating through me to you that, you know, your belief systems were way too different. And every time you guys may have tried to understand each other when it came to a certain belief system, it was a challenge, all right? I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. This is the same card as this. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. This person cannot stop thinking about you. I don't know what you did. Well, I do know what you did. You brought, you brought a divine feminine into their lives or you brought a divine masculine energy into their lives and you have completely set the bar so high for anybody else because now they're going to be looking for this type of love. And honestly, I don't think they're going to find it. This person is clearly trying to move on as best and much as they could, but they cannot. Your voice, your messages, your thoughts, your love is continuously lingering and haunting them. The last card out from your person in separation is, I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart and now I don't know how to let you go. Your person messed up. I can't say it more clear. Your person has messed up. You have been sent into their life as a blessing and as a, a gateway to freedom and peace. You were sent into their life to show them a different form of love, unconditional love, a different love that is not, worried and consumed by the outside of parents see a lot of other people was consumed they had the gift of gab everybody was flock you know flocking to them you came into their lives and started teaching them shit you came into their lives and started to have deep conversations where they really had to use their mind and think you came into their lives and started to really have them question which way they were headed. They started to plan 10 years from now, which they never did because they never had to with other people. You showed them a divine being. And now that you have been separated because you chose to remove yourself because you wasn't getting the same in return, I would have did that too. They are realizing what they had and how much they need you, but now it's gone.
And that's how it always happens, collective. You did nothing wrong. All you did was try to show them. All you did was try to teach them. And you was just simply too much. This person made, you know, do love you and and really, really want to have a life with you. And you, and you share so much deep wisdom with them. But they should have made that decision when you was present. Okay, that is what your person wants to say to you in separation. I love you guys.